Well, wouldn't you know it, it turns out that tomorrow, Wednesday, February 27th, 2019, there will indeed be a Pokemon Nintendo Direct. And it's pretty interesting because, you know, I did, of course, appear on the Spawncast this past weekend, and there were a few of the dudes who were on that podcast essentially telling everyone that they already knew that something in terms of Pokemon was going to be happening this Wednesday, and this has turned out to be true. So earlier this morning, Nintendo did send out this tweet stating, Tune in on February 27th at 6 a.m. Pacific time, which of course is my time, for roughly seven minutes of new information in a live-streamed Pokemon Direct presentation. So that's what's going on. Basically a seven-minute Nintendo Direct about just Pokemon. No other details. They're not specifically saying it's the new Switch Pokemon game that we all know to expect later this year. They're just saying it's about Pokemon. So maybe it has to do with some remastered 3DS games. Maybe it has to do with Pokemon Go. Maybe it has to do with the uh, Pokemon Let's Go, e Pikachu and Eevee, those games. You know, it could be all the above. It could be none of the above. At this point, we just know Pokemon's coming tomorrow. And I wanted to talk about this, you know, a lot of you guys already know this. I'm not a Pokemon fan. I've already even discussed on Twitter how I'm not even sure if I'm going to necessarily cover the Direct after it happens. Um, but as a non-fan, I still do find it interesting because this is one of the biggest games we know to expect for the Switch. And as a non-fan, something I've stated to you guys before, I'm always kind of looking for that thing that's going to happen or appear in a Pokemon game that might actually convince me to play it. Because, I mean, let's be real. I'm a Nintendo fan. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I think they make the best games. And Pokemon is one of their biggest exclusive franchises. So why wouldn't I be interested in it? I mean, to be fair, the reason I've never be even been a Pokemon fan is I guess I would just say that I'm too old. Not in the sense that I'm too old to enjoy something like Pokemon, but I'm too old to have caught the Pokemon fever when it was happening is what I was saying. Because what I remember is by the time there was a TV show playing in the States here, a Pokemon show, I was already like 14 or 15 or something like that. And I guess I felt like, oh, that's just some, you know, dumb kid show at the time. And I didn't really care about it. My younger brother watched it a little bit and I was like, I was like, I'm too old for this. So I, it kind of passed me by. And then by the time the game started coming out on the Game Boy, I still was like, I was paying attention to different games. I wasn't into the Pokemon Game Boy games like my younger brother was. And so it basically just hit the States and that Pokemon fever happened just beyond my time. I was just a smidge too old to get into it then, and I've never gone back and rediscovered it. And it's also an RPG series, and I'm not a huge RPG guy, you guys know. There's only a few that tend to cater to me, and so, you know, all of these things make it so that Pokemon is something that I never just gravitated towards throughout my life as a gamer. But luckily, since this is only a seven-minute Nintendo Direct, it's a pretty small time investment for a series that I don't care about, and considering it's on a console for a company I do very much care about, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna see what the seven minute shows. And, you know, like I said, what I'm looking for here as a non-fan is something, if they show the Pokemon Switch game, that's the one that I'm curious about. If they show anything about Pokemon Go or, or Let's Go Pokemon or anything else on the 3DS games and Sun and Moon, like that stuff, it's already beyond me, don't care, not interested. But the Switch game, I'm curious to see what it's going to be. I'm curious to kind of get an idea of how I think it's going to positively impact Nintendo and the Switch, because that's always fun if you're a fan of that company, which I am. And I want to see if they show anything that makes the game interesting. For years, I'd always told myself, man, I don't really like Pokemon. I don't care for Pokemon. I don't want to play Pokemon. But one day, if they ever made a huge, epic, sprawling console RPG, you know, something akin to a Zelda game or a Final Fantasy game on that kind of scale and with that sort of, you know, perspective through the world, not necessarily the top town Game Boy stuff I've seen, but something more like a Zelda, like I said, and they made that for a console and not a handheld, I would definitely be curious. And if it looked epic and dope enough, then I would probably consider buying into it. You know, that's just my own personal perspective. And that's a tricky thing to ask because I totally understand that that's not really what Pokemon is. That's essentially somebody who's not a Pokemon fan asking them to make a Pokemon game, but make it nothing like Pokemon games. You know, I get that that's what I'm asking. So it's not so much that I'm trying to tell them that that's what they need to do. I'm just saying I probably won't be interested in it until it maybe looks or plays something like that. I mean, even throughout my years as a non-fan, I was always very aware that Pokemon has always been a hand 
handheld only thing. And I think that's when I realized they need to do something on a console that's very grand and epic in scale. I need it to feel like a Legend of Zelda and a Pokemon World, Pokemon Universe, make it seem kind of cooler and hipper and I just don't even know, something kind of different but still incorporate some of the Pokemon lore and characters into the story. It's like that's the kind of thing that I want to see. So when it comes to this Pokemon RPG, if in fact they show it tomorrow, which let's be real, they're going to. Tomorrow is going to be the reveal of probably the title and the release date, and they've got to be giving us some info. I bet they'll cover something about Pokemon Go, uh, DLC for Let's Go maybe, but I bet that the majority of this will be focused on that new game. And so, you know, all I can say as a non-fan is, you know, let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Can you make Pokemon appeal both to traditional Pokemon fans? Because let's be real, it's more important that they make it good for you guys than they do for me, okay? So hopefully they can make a game that works for the average typical Pokemon fan and delivers on those promises, but somehow also evolves it and, change it and changes it into something that someone like me, who maybe loves Nintendo and video games but doesn't give a crap diddly poop about Pokemon, all of a sudden says, whoa, now there's the Pokemon game I have to play. I'll be picking that up day one. That's what I hope to see. And you know, I get all these flashes in my head and all these images of ways that I can see a Pokemon game looking that would look so badass I couldn't say no to it. And it's hard to explain, so I guess it's just going to come down to uh, if, in fact, they reveal the Switch Pokemon tomorrow, and if it if it looks like something I care about, then I'm going to discuss it. And as far as, you know, beyond discussing if I would play it or not, also, if I can see something in tomorrow's footage that shows me what they're doing and how they're making it maybe different from previous games, that will also give me a reason to talk about it. If what they show tomorrow just looks like a slightly fancier version of everything I've seen from Pokemon, I'm really not going to have much to say, because whereas you guys might be able to watch that footage and pick out a hundred different things that are different and new, and oh my god, I can dissect all this stuff because I'm a big Pokemon player, I myself am not, so I might not be able to pick up on that stuff. So I need to see something that gives me a reason as a non-fan to talk about it, to cover it tomorrow. But I did feel it was worth it to make this video and discuss as a non-fan what I would like to see, and how I would like to see the Pokemon series in this new game maybe change and evolve and be something that suddenly caters to me as a non-fan, but also doesn't shun you guys as lifelong fans. It's a, it's a tricky line to walk, it's a very hard balance to find, and hopefully they figure out a way to do that. So let's just see what they end up showing tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure it's very exciting for most people out there because most people are Pokemon fans. I am the rare one who's not a big Pokemon fan, but still a diehard Nintendo fan. So I'm the one who kind of fits in that weird box. So I guess we'll see. Tell me what you guys think. What do you want to see from the Direct tomorrow? What are your hopes and dreams and wishes? And what would you not like to see? All that stuff. Talk about it below. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video. Thank you